Trevor, for as much as the offense has been maligned and a lot of criticism, a uh, 75-yard drive and an 80-yard drive in the second half to score points and pull this game out for you guys. Uh, all that criticism is coming from the outside. Uh, and our team, we know what we can do. We know what we're capable of. And we showed everyone that today. Coach, it seemed like uh, this was a game where adjustments at halftime were pretty important. Or what was that conversation like for you guys in the break? Well, there needed to be adjustments, but there, I thought the more important thing was to keep our poise. I mean, it was it was kind of a whirlwind that first quarter against us, and we had to regain our momentum, but stay in our plan, too. It was more stay in the plan instead of, you know, because it wasn't, it, it wasn't as effective in the first half, but it was just stay to the plan and stay stay the group and that's that's what I'm most pleased about is how they, they stuck to the plan and stayed together. Spencer, what was that defensive plan? What did you guys have to make sure you were doing in the second half to have the success you did? Obviously the same thing in the first half, a couple minor adjustments, but um, I think just the guys stepped up, the D-line played excellent and I thought it went really well in the second half, just a lot better than the first in a couple of ways. Coach, can you take us through the decision to go for it on fourth and two on that last drive? Well, I was looking at the clock, and I, we're, we're playing against a great football team in a, in a big game. And when you get in this situation, you have to make those plays. And, and you're fourth and two, and you got to rely on your offense. And even though I, these guys all believe in them uh, of making that play, and I knew we were up against something big, but I also knew that it was hard to get inside the 40-yard line against this defense as well, and, and that I, I felt that was going to be our shot to, to win the game. Trevor, can you walk us through that? You know, because the ball's going to you. I mean, is that the situation? Fifth year senior, that's, you want that You want that carry? Absolutely, I wanted that carry, and uh, I'm happy Coach Fowler made a decision to go for it. Obviously, we all are. All are. Turned out well, and uh, I'm sure most, play, most players will say they always want to go for it on the fourth, and that was a big one. We needed it. O-line came up huge. They did their job and got the yards we needed. Coach, you went for it on fourth down early in the drive. Why didn't you go for it when you guys were that close to the goal line? What made you want to kick the field goal? Because I thought we were playing good defense, and they were out of timeouts. And those two things put together, I just felt that it would put ourselves in position because, one, the offense had the score, but two, we, I felt we were really playing well on defense, and, and uh, I trusted that half of the ball just as much to go out and win the game for us as much as the offense that put us ahead. Ellerson, what was the game plan coming in? Uh, Keaton Keedy, the first game, made his first 14 passes, got comfortable. What was the game plan this time to maybe slow him down? And then did you uh, stick, was it sticking to the plan after that first drive and they go down to score? Was it just sticking? What, what was the plan and then after that? Yeah, I think it was, uh, well, we switched to a four-man front this game. Just, you know, fill up some running gaps more. But, yeah, after that first drive, we just wanted to keep our poise and you know, do a good job and doing what we can do because we know when we're playing to our full potential, like, most teams and offensive lines aren't going to be able to move our D line and our defense in general. So I think that we yeah, we just the coaches did a good job of reeling us in, making sure that we were calm, confident, and ready to play the rest of the game. What did you think of your freshman quarterback on that uh, final scoring drive, where he has the 31, 32 yard scramble to extend the drive and then makes the pass to Sue? Well, again, he's you know he's grown up in front of us as we watch him play. I mean, he made some. You can go back to the scramble he ran all over the place and lost 30 yards. And then the one, you know, you can't. It's, it's the player in him. And you have to educate him and teach him, but you also have to let him play. And uh, he came back and made a tremendous play. And that, that's his game. And, uh, and I tell you what, it was a difference in the game. Guys, so playing more football, what's that mean to you? That's everything. That's everything. That's, yeah. what we, that's what we came here for, to play some football. Survive in advance. Yeah, another another week. week you can, absolutely. Guaranteed, another week. It's a brand new season. Trevor, you know, a uh, great game on the ground today. Uh, was that something you guys saw and felt you could do as you could run the ball? Absolutely. We go into every game uh, knowing that we can run the ball. And again, O-line, they came out today and they, they made up their mind early that, hey, we're running the ball and it's our game plan and we're sticking to it. And they did what they were supposed to do. What was the message along the sidelines after 10 nothing, uh, your best scoring drive stopped with an interception? What was the message at that point? Uh, it was pretty much the same as when we played them last time. Hey, we're moving the ball. We're just kind of shooting ourselves in the foot at critical moments. And once we got, got out of our own way, that's when things started happening.
Well, uh, you know, the saying goes, uh, when you beat a seed, you become that seed. Uh, you know, you finally got your seed. How do you feel that? We don't need no seed. <laughs> <laughs> We're not worried about the seed. We just know that, hey, we got a game next week. Uh, yeah. Yep. Coach, can you give us an update on Isaiah? Yeah, I saw him in the locker room. He's... <laughs> He's standing upright and he looks good to me. But <laughs> last time, you know, you, you, we don't know. Again, we're, this is so early out after this that we'll wait till Sunday, Monday rolls around, and and go back home and evaluate uh, what we have for for players and and go from there. But all that matters right now is they need to stay, take a step back, enjoy this as a team because it's just a tremendous effort from a special teams effort to uh, what the offense did, and what the defense did. And, you know, we knew we had to come in and and, and play. Had to find a way to win this as, as, as a group of 64, and they did that today. So Isaiah is one of those. So we hope he's one of the 64 next week as well. Will that 64 also include a, a tight end or have a big doctor meeting next week? Time will tell. Right now, we just need to go back home and, and uh, enjoy this bus ride because this was just a big win. We all know this is a great football team, and it's a hard place to play. They built, you know, this is a nice, this is a heck of a deal here, and to come in here and. Sustain the whirlwind early, and then and then play the four quarters that we did. Our team should be proud. Our university should be happy. And I tell you, what, it's just it's just great for everybody, because that's 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 what we want to do, and that's that's why we play the game, and that's why we do what we do. So these guys can get this opportunity. One, one, just one. Uh, talk about the black field goal. Though. What happened on that play there? Well, um, the last minute we decided to put Spencer in Spencer Brown on our offensive tackle. So we were before the snap we. Never ran it before with him in it, so we we're just like trying to find a way to put him somewhere. <laughs> so then we ended up, uh, me and him ended up on the same side on the uh, right side of the long snapper, and we just tried to get as much knockback as we could and um, get our hands up. And I ended up being able to get my hands on it. And, you know, kudos to Spencer because he got most of the push and drove the guy back. I just had to get my hands up. So yeah. Was that something you put in this week? Was that something you guys put in this week? Uh, something we put in this morning. I didn't think of it until about 4.30 this morning. I was laying there going, this, we got a 6'8 tackle. You know? <laughs> Seriously, we put it in this morning. And uh, uh, it just it just worked out good. You know, Everything works in mysterious ways, and that was one of them. Was there ever at one point where you, you finally start making some plays here? Uh, and you force two turnovers, and then you can't, and then we'll take the big sack. And was it, boy, that just doesn't, uh, was it just poised, staying poised, even yeah. all, after all those things were going against you early? That was the message the whole time to the coaches, to the players. That was the message before we, put a, before we left the locker room today. Mm -hmm. We knew it was going to be about poise because you're on the road right now and you're in big games. And if you can sustain your poise and keep your head, and you, you got to win these games at the end. And, and this team proved to win this game in the end. And that was, that was a lot of growth today in this football team.